Hello and welcome to another Nico Media tutorial. Uh, this time I got the question uh, if it's possible to make such this this floor here with uh, the physical render too. So this is done in Otoy and with the GS displacement. And yeah, how we can do this with this with the physical render so that we get. Uh, on the edges and other color or we could make it a color we could make it a, a luminance material or something else and I will show you how you can do this yeah uh, for this we need the GS displacement here this is a program uh, you will find the download link in the description of the video uh, I'll show you how to work with it and, and everything so okay let's start for this, uh, for the physical render, we need a an, an plane and we need uh, a quite high density mesh. Uh, in Octane, you wouldn't, need, you could do it without uh, subdivisions, but if with the physical render, we need a high density mesh. So I go here to my tutorial user thing here and again, tutorial user. So, okay, this is okay, this is okay, this is okay. Whoop. So, we need a plane. And I say this plane, let's make it thousand by thousand. And with segments of four or five hundred, give it five hundred or five hundred, maybe a little too much because we can work with sub poly displacement. Let's say four hundred for the moment. Of course, as, as denser this mesh is, uh, as more dense this mesh is, the, it's better the result will be. Okay, and now we open our GS displacement. This, I have it already open, but I don't know where here. It looks like this. And we can choose between these uh, possibilities here, these, these patterns. And I think this one should be the correct one uh, because we have here some round things here, so round shapes and everything. And in the picture, we see here some round shapes. So let's take this one. I click on it and get this. And to start, just click on this uh, area here. And it makes an, uh, a displacement map. And every time you click on it, you get another displacement map. So click again. Needs a little bit because it makes some calculations. It should make another when I click on it. Yeah, okay. And I click so, so as long as I want. So let's see. Maybe I try another pack here. Click again on it. Ah, this looks better, yeah. I think I take this one here. Have some around things here. Oh, let's make another one so nice do you see that we get really nice shapes here so okay or maybe I take this one here okay and if you like it you just hit on so if you see you can play here with with uh, everything you want so you can just play around with this program and it saves it under a PNG file in 8K, so it's a really nice high uh, high uh, resolution map. It's very nice to use. So just I hit just save and JS is okay for me. Save it, and I can uh, close this. I don't need it anymore. But if I need it again, or I let it in the background, run in the background, and that's it. So. Now we need a new material and I make here just a reflective material with a diffuse layer and the diffuse I want quite dark metal so I go to here so go now to the glossiness vanel I go to conductor and doesn't matter which one here. I let this here and go down with the 
layer color a little bit so I get a dark metal and give it some roughness and see I'm happy with it so I drag it on my plane and of course nothing happens for the moment for the displacement uh, you need to, to render it so I make it, I make the uh, interactive render here but of course we see nothing at the moment we have nothing to reflect in our scene we have nothing to light our scene and I want to work with uh, Oh, at the moment, I don't need. Uh, well, yeah, I want to work with GI. So, okay. That's okay. Good so far. And now, let's bring in the displacement map. I go to my displacement. And in the texture, I choose my new displacement map here. Bring it in. And yes, yeah, sub polygon displacement here for the moment two should be enough, and I want around it geometry, and that should work. And I drag it on my oh, I don't have to drag it, we have it already on it. But as I said, now we won't see anything if we if we render it. So I bring in my Nicomedia scene rig, of course. And I don't need a floor here. Okay. And now you see we have a nice displacement here. It looks really nice with this GS displacement. And now the question is how can we put on it uh, some uh, other colors here on, on the on the edges. We have two uh, possibilities, two options. The first one is for R18 and, and newer, uh, so we can work with the invert ambient occlusion. Uh, but for this, I, I show you now what I want. I want uh, on the edges, uh, I want golden edges here. Uh, I could work here with the luminous channel and let light to the edges, I'll show you this later. But for my golden thing, I want to make another texture and this texture should be just gold color. So I want reflectance. The vanilla I go to conductor and go to gold. Whoop. And let's see here. So a little blurriness. This should work. And I put this also on my plane here. It comes after this, after the first material, and only what we see now is this here. Okay, but what I want is, so I, I want to take the same displacement map here, here so I go to this. Uh, go to displacement and uh, bop, bop. I copy the texture here, right click copy. And go to my gold, right click paste and here the same go to two rounded geometry and displacement now I have the same in gold but I want to see the gold only on the edges as we said so I go to my uh, material here and go to the alpha channel and in the alpha channel I activate the alpha channel I don't want to have an image alpha I want here the effect ambient occlusion you will see what we get now this is a uh, and now nothing <laughs> of course so now I want to have an invert direction and the next thing what I want to do is to invert the knots now we should start to see something. You see, it gets it starts to be nice. And here in the interpolation, I want known.
and the maximum length ray I want just a very small area so I give it here to one you see it in the preview here we have just nice uh, I want to see a little more of it and so I go with this not here to the, about 50 percent 50 percent should be okay oh this is this was too much you see if I go here to the side I will see more here in the preview you see it and when I go to the side here so it will be less and what I want is I want a very high contrast here, so I go to 100% here. Let's see what we get now. Mm -hmm. That's already it, uh, almost it, but uh, we don't have to refine, we just have to make an, a nice surrender. What I want is, I want here a dark background, a black background. I go down here with the So make it something like that, so that I see everything, so that the whole area is will be rendered. Yes, it looks nice. We don't have any round geometry here, but it would work with everything. Let's see, maybe I get something like... Yeah. Maybe it works when I... It, works, it should work faster when we uh, disable the sub polygon displacement for the moment here and here so it works much faster so of course we, we have now not these nice edges but we see much faster what we get and I think it looks nice okay Maybe we should take another displacement map. It is not the best displacement map, I think. So let's go back to our uh, thing and make another one. Here we have some round things. Let's save this. And this is okay. And now I go to my material editor, I select here the material editor, and with here I want to select this material and we shift click the other material too. So I've selected both materials, and now I can do it with just one thing. I can put it in for post materials. So, and let's see what we get now. Okay, we have here some rounded shapes. Here we have round shapes. Let's go and put in the sub polygon displacement. Yeah, now we have nice round things too. Okay, now let's fit it to the screen, so something like that. I make a camera here so I don't have to search for the night for the same camera angle. Okay, and now I make a higher render so that you can see what we get. Go to my render settings and go to Let's see, we, no, I make a higher render. And yeah, the project file will be available for the Patreons, of course. And, but you don't see, if you don't need to, 
for this you don't need the, the project file for really you see what I do so uh, but the Patreons get everything of course and they get the same uh, textures and everything and here and this, this, these settings you see here they are from uh, they are my default settings but if you have the Nicomedia scene rig you can input your settings with the script in the render settings and you will have the same settings like me and yeah okay I pr make a short break and render it I don't think that it needs very long but we'll see so now I'm back and I did some tests uh, and here we have the uh, result with uh, two steps in the subdiv in the subdivision no in the in the displacement subdivisions these are two st uh, steps and here we have it with four steps so you see it's much better with four steps and then I go on to Photoshop and I made here you see this is this is the map we, we have from JS Displacer and I made here my Nicomedia just a text and in the text I just made a stroke and the color overlay and the color overlay I took just exactly this color here and then what you should do when you do something like this uh, make an, a smart object out of it right click in smart object or I have here shortcut and put a very tiny blur on it so I go to blur Gaussian blur and you see one pixel is enough here okay and what you get then is here is the fun I put here in Nicomedia and we have another uh, a thing here in the, the displacement and because you have now and in the here a smart object you just double click a smart object you can change your text whatever you want and then say uh, close it and if it's asked to and if it's asked then to save say yes and then save it your new file and just go then to your uh, to your material to post materials post materials are selected and just click reload image and you have the new text when you made a new text so so you have a little fun with it because I thought this area looks a little empty here so check of course you have find in Photoshop you have to find the, the right place so you have to test the, something but this could be look like this now and with it I think this is a very nice uh, thing and if you put this to Photoshop and refine it a little bit you get a much better result so let's try it let's just uh, go to here and copy it go to Photoshop and here I say a new file from clipboard okay why is this so big uh, ah, there is this seems to be a bug here doesn't matter for now create control V so I have it here make a smart object here and control shift A to go in the camera row filter and get 100% here and if we go with the clarity a little up we get a really nice get really nice results here the clarity up and maybe a little more contrast so maybe a little vibrance here so more gold and you see we get really nice things here ah, I'm not 100% this is the reason it looks so, so strange so okay and now I show you the other way of course you see it, it's here it's a little uh, grainy but this is the reason we have we work with the ambient occlusion so this is a little grainy you can try here to go from go to alpha here and go from uh, 0 0.5 to 1 and something else just play around with the settings until you find something like what you like but now I promise to show you how you can do this if you don't have this invert direction this invert ambient occlusion of course it works with we can do it on an other way so let's go to so go to the displacement and as for the moment I go just to one 
so that we get a faster result here. If we get a faster result, I oh, disable the sub polygon displacement. Oh, I should do it on on both, not not only on one material. Okay, this is uh, of course now with just one polygon. This doesn't look so nice, but just for the speed. And yeah, you see the Nicomedia here is almost disappeared. So, uh, but this is because of the subdivision level here. So what we do now is we go to the alpha th here. I clear this. And the other way is, let's go to the effects to, 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 to fall off. Here in the fall off, I go from black to white and invert the knots. See, we see slightly that gold comes through, but now again I go to my non interpolation, have something like this here. This is right, this is right, this is right, and now let's go up to the with the displacement here. I select both of them. And I go to four. And this needs now a little bit because of the subdivision surface. But you see, we have almost the same uh, effect here. Maybe some uh, somebody says this looks m maybe better for, for some reasons. You see, it's not so grainy and nothing. So even with, with this uh, preview render, it's not so grainy. And this is another effect. So if you like this more, play with this one. And what I want to show you too. So this is the way if you could do it with the fall off map. And now what I want to show you is uh, go to my alpha channel here. And go back some steps until I have my ambient occlusion again. Okay. Go back to the. This is now with with the small displacement here with with just one. Select both and say two. If you don't wanna select every time both, you can do something easy so let's say you want to play with the alpha and i want to have every time when i change this it should change the other material too so we can do this like this we go to the subdivision level here and let's stop this for a moment right click and go to express so oops we have to select it right click go to express so set driver then go to the other material do the same setting, right click, expressor and set driven absolute. So now every time when I change here the subdivisions, let's say now I go to four. Now I go to the other material and you will see here is four two. So you don't have to uh, select both every time. You can do the same here for the for the texture. If you change the texture in one material, it will change in the other material too. So you can do it for everything. You can do it with the activation for the sub-polygon displacement. But I think so it's easier You don't forget if you have to forget to select both. So the next thing what I want to show you here is, yeah, I copy this alpha channel here. So, so the texture for the alpha channel, copy it. And now I want to disable, so let's bring this up. And go here to displacement to two for the moment. So now I know it's in both two, and I disable here my uh, second material. So I 
just in the selection tag I put something in and the selection does not exist so uh, the material disappears here. I go to my black material here and say go to the luminance channel and paste this texture we already copied from the alpha channel paste it and now we have it in the luminance channel so this will illuminate let's say I want here go to here to multiply so multiply here make some color something like this maybe 200 and I got a nice lighting an illuminating uh, thing here let's go to 4 in the displacement channel so and let me, let's make a render with this whoops so I'll break for the moment so I did it now with the uh, uh, luminant channel so this was this but I, I stopped this because this, I had here the, lumen, the brightness of the illumination at 200 and this is too much you see this is too much then I go to 100 that looks much better and then I did in the render settings I added a glow and you see for the glow you need an object, ob object ID and so I put it on my plane and compositing tag and in the compositing tag I activated object buffer uh, 1 and here object ID 1 and then we have a nice bloom effect you see difference and this looks really nice I think huh? yeah and that's it of course you can make this the same thing with the uh, fall of map 2 so that you just copy the alpha ch channel the fall of map from the alpha in the luminance channel go to uh, copy to the luminance channel go to multiply and set the brightness or the color whatever you want and you have the same yeah that's it for this tutorial but I think uh, this I uh, like this with the bloom effect and I like the gold one uh, both nice I think yeah and with the Nicometer thing uh, one thing uh, when you make this a new map here in the in Photoshop uh, you should uh, it's not really necessary but uh, you should go to image mode and set it then to 16-bit I, I use the 16-bit but I, I go back here to just to show you uh, what I did but you should go to 16-bit and it asks you blah 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 it's okay and then save it as a 16-bit image and if when you save it don't forget if you make any changes here and don't forget to go to the to your uh, material settings set uh, select both and then in the in the displacement channel just go in the displacement and reload image so then you can be sure you see then you can be sure you have the new uh, thing the new uh, picture in it okay and that's it for today uh, maybe not for the day because i think about yeah to, for the day maybe yes but on, on weekend there will come another uh, thing and another tutorial so now oh, it starts that i have a little more time and i can do a little more yeah and as i said do you will find the, the link to the dis gs displacement it's a really nice thing and, and uh, makes great maps so I'm sure you have a lot of fun with it, and I used it too in my in my uh, last sci-fi picture with the sci-fi building. I, I used it too, and yeah, I really like it. So, so you can play hours with this <laughs> and end <and> longer. <laughs> yeah, uh, the next tutorial will come maybe today or tomorrow or Sunday. We will see, and. I have to think about with which tutorials I start now. Now I start to, to go through my to-do list. And it's a really long list, believe me. Uh, we will see what we do next. Uh, yeah, I hope you like this. I hope you learned something. Or I hope you can use the, the, this thing. And 
Yeah, you will find every link you need in the description. The project file is for patrons, and, and uh, what's so? Yeah, if you want to donate, please do it. Do so, do so, because I'm, I want to buy an, an other monitor, a, a, a cheaper monitor, because. I see here everything on the on the 4K monitor. I see everything a little blurred. So, so, so when I when I when I uh, set the, the 4K monitor to uh, to 1080p, and this is not really the, the, a good solution what I do here. But for for the recording, I can't record in 4K because people they don't have a 4K monitor. For the, for they the, uh, the the video would be too small. They wanna, they wouldn't see nothing on it. So I want to record on 1080p, and so for this I think I, I buy another uh, cheaper monitor and for just for recording. Maybe you want to help me to to, <laughs> to buy one. So please donate or support me on my Patreon page. And yeah, I wish you all a nice weekend. And I know it's Friday, but. Uh, in Austria yesterday was day off, so uh, and we have a longer weekend. Most of us have a longer weekend, and yeah. So uh, have a nice day and all the best from here, from Vienna, and yeah, tschüss und baba.